What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Seth with Urban Spirit. Got another good one for you today. All right, y'all. Women Crush Wednesdays. Um, uh, we got one more for Women Crush Wednesdays. This is the last one. This is gonna be an interesting one. So I got a couple things for this one. Uh, first thing, shout out to all the amazing, beautiful, lovely, wonderful, awesome moms, grandmas, aunties, sister, cousins, women out there in our lives that does do so much for us, and we appreciate y'all so much. So this is Women Crush Wednesdays. All right, so. I got a shout out. I'm gonna shout um, out. We're doing uh, Paramore Ig Ig Ignorance. The reason I found this song out, somebody um, tagged me on my last Rock Thursday song, said uh, maybe you should do Paramore, one of the older songs for your Women Crush Wednesdays. So when I heard that, I was like, hmm, interesting. I don't know who Paramore is. So I typed it in to come to sound as a rock lady, but she's not doing metal, which is interesting. And I was thinking, I was like, dang. I wonder if there's any more females out there that do rock, but it's not metal. You know what I'm saying? That's That'd be really cool. You know what I'm saying? I, I would love to, to go down that, that that road and see. Now, I think I saw a live version of this song, and it looked like it was a real big crowd. So I think she might have a big fan base, or it's an older fan base. Cause it looked like she's one of the older rock, rock singers or whatever. But um, we're going to check the song out. I don't even know if she's good. But based off of the little two seconds that I heard, it didn't sound like it was metal. It sounded like it was more like rock. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was more Linkin Park, not, you know, heavy metal. I don't know if that makes sense. But clearly, she might not be as good as Linkin Park. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, we're doing Ignorance Polymore. There is a uh, exclusive to this. So, we'll do that next. If you don't know what exclusive is, go to the description below. It'll tell you all about it. So, uh, here we go. just like another stranger i like that man like sometimes you know someone so you treat them like bad or good based off of whatever the history is i feel like everybody should treat everybody like they're just a stranger like there's nothing there's nothing bad or good for them to lean upon like that's what's up good bar <laughs>
sound sounds amazing, you know what I'm saying? Song is okay. I personally believe the lyrics are just all over the place. I understand what she's saying, but I'm saying they're literally all over the place. So it's hard to connect to a specific part or a specific chorus or whatever that just make catch you. Like, ignorance is your new best friend is my favorite part. If you're watching this, we just reacted to the lyrical video, and I've already done the exclusive. This is cool. It's a cool song. Um, it's the second best song of the day. Uh, I don't care. Corin Bailey Ray just won. But that's a good. I like to know that there's rock females out there, and it's very interesting. I believe I probably picked the wrong song. I personally picked this song. He didn't give me a, a song to pick. By the way, I want to say a uh, shout out to Mr. Rock and Roller. That's the name of the person who told me to do uh, Polymore. So shout out to you. Uh, if you know any more Polymer songs you specifically like, let me know. Um, the only reason I thought the song was kind of funky was because she was all over the play with the uh, play place with the um, uh, the cadence. All her switches was all over the place. But um, sometimes with rock, it's good to catch a melody and just go with it. Lincoln Park is really good at doing that. Uh, Twenty One is really good at doing that too. But um, and then they do a switch, it's like a switch for the better, but they not all over the place. Like, Ignorance is my new best friend was my favorite part, but then it was only like a small part, you know what I'm saying? You did me just like a little And it should have kept going like that, but it's like, I don't know, I just, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a critic sometimes. Hey, it's a reaction channel, so we tell the truth over here. So y'all, um, I have two homework assignments. Please tell if there's any fans still out there for her. I think this is an older group. So yeah, it says 2009. This is a very old video. So her fan base might have died. So if her fan base died, you know, I understand. But at least Rock and Roller can give me one or two more songs. I would react, like to react to more rock. But second second homework assignment is I want y'all to give me some few more female rock bands out there or rock, just maybe solo or duets or, you know, like 21 Pilots, there's two of them. Whatever, just as long as it's female led. I want to do some more of those, but that's not metal. I know there's a couple of metal ones out there, but I want to do some just rock, female rock. Cause we haven't hit that on our channel really. If you really think about it, we haven't hit that on our channel. And I would love to do that. You know, we, I want to. I know. I bet you there's a lot of them out there. I just don't know any of them. You know what I'm saying? So, tag me in the comments below and let me know what uh, female rock, non-metal groups that you know that maybe maybe some famous ones, maybe some ones that got a big fan base. Whatever you know. Send it to me. You know I love fan bases, so that's cool because they teach me so much. And it made my channel grow. <laughs> so like, come, subscribe, like, come, subscribe. If you have a desktop laptop, the button it should be about right there. Other than that, uh, just go to your phone or tap and hit the subscribe button, and we out. I'm the Urban Experience, where we do things the urban way. I'm out.